All right, in this situation, we've got um, some little interesting questions about percentage increase and stuff. It's a little bit different than what we did in class, but it's based off of um, sense and reason based on rates and everything else. Anyway, what we know is there's some chemical reaction um, whose, whose speed, or the speed of the reaction, um, is given uh, is an exponential growth curve. I know it's growth because the exponent's positive and we're doubling. In fact, with this particular um, function, it says... Uh, zero point, I know it's really hard to see in this case, um, that says two to the zero point zero zero five, or no, just zero five T. That's actually uh, one over twenty. In other words, it's five over one hundred, which is one over twenty. So what I can do is I can recognize if I have one over twenty times T, that it takes 20 years um, in order for the initial speed to double. So we start at initial speed, V sub 0, and then over a span of 20 years, because here I could see 1 over 20 times 20 equals 1, that would mean that we have double one time. So, this is just me trying to understand the problem. Um, and when I say years, I'm sorry. Uh, what I meant was, I'm used to almost every problem being in years. What I meant was 20 degrees Celsius. So, I'm trying to understand the problem a little better. I should have read more. See, temperature represents the independent variable. So, if um, I raise the temperature of, um, of whatever temperature we're in, if I raise the temperature, the speed of the reaction increases. So the hotter it is, the faster the, uh, the chemical reaction. And so um, every 20 degrees, I will double the speed, uh, the initial speed of the, of the uh, chemical reaction. So the, uh, the first was, uh, what's the, uh, the speed at zero degrees Celsius? It's kind of a weird question because um, we're supposed to have some given information, but we can only work with what we have. The initial temperature is at V sub zero. It's going to be um, 0 0.05 times uh, times zero is zero. Two to the zero is one. So V sub zero represents the initial velocity. Now, calculating V sub 20, all I have to do is put in 20 for T and get uh, 0 0.005 times 20. And here we could see, just like I said before, at 20 degrees Celsius, we are going to double the initial, the initial velocity. So here's what it says. The velocity is V sub 0 at the start, at 0 degrees Celsius, and 20 degrees hotter is going to double that initial speed. So I don't know how much it is, but I do know it's double. So to calculate the percent increase, I have a hunch it's going to be 100% because I've doubled the initial velocity. So it's 100% more of the initial velocity. The initial velocity plus another initial velocity, an extra 100%, gives me twice as much. To prove that, um, I'm just going to show the, temp the speed at 20 degrees minus the speed at 0 degrees. That's a difference in speeds. I'm going to divide that by the initial speed to get the ratio comparing the change in speed compared to the initial speed. And that gives me, instead of V sub 20, I write twice the initial velocity minus the initial velocity. That's going to be 1 times the initial velocity. 1 times initial velocity over initial velocity, that divides out to 1. And we show a 100% increase in the speed. 100% increase in the speed, 2 times as much speed in the first 20 degrees consistent with what I thought was going to happen. Now for part D, um, we just need to calculate um, what this means. This is the speed at 50 degrees versus the speed at 20 degrees, and we're trying to calculate the percent change here. So just to, before I move on, we're going to recognize that uh, V sub 50 is the initial speed times 2 to the 0 0.05 times 50, which when I put that into a calculator, I get 5.675 times the initial speed. So we're going almost five and a half, over five and a half times faster because the temperature is at 50 degrees instead of 20. All that divided by the um, speed at 20, which is twice the initial velocity. 
So that turns out to be 3.67 or 6.57 times the initial velocity over 2 times the initial velocity. Number crunching it all out, I get 282.8%. So in other words, the percent increase in speed from 20 degrees to 50 degrees is a 282% increase. What's interesting about this is in the first 20 degrees, we only had a 100% increase. 30 degrees more from 20 to 50 shows a 282% decrease, and so that's definitely, or increase in speed, definitely a representative of exponential growth. Hope that's helpful.